Come with me, leave all of your things, yeah We can stop at Gucci, stop at Louis V, yeah Come with me, fly you out to Paris Full speed, so full of Paris, yeah Speed boats, baby, in Nicky Beach Waves in my ass, open deep Dripping through the sand and the teeth All because of what I did <laughs> we have like 40 minutes to get to our reservation, but the, ho but the hotel is so pretty. I wish we got here like two hours ago. Hello, we've arrived in where? Mykonos. <laughs> This is actually very cute. <laughs> Guys, this is the bathroom. Yeah. Oops, toilets. And then behind this glass. Hello, it's me. This is my travel fit, by the way. Hola. Um, this is the shower. So it's like behind this glass thing. And then this is our room. And look at this view, guys. <gasps> we made it, bitches. <laughs> wow. I see you, baby. Honestly, we've never got ready so fast in our lives. <laughs> Olympics. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Oh my god. Oh my god. If I'm in a moving car. Yeah, if this works. We're at Mammoth. Guys, I'm just so in shock that we're here finally. I'm just happy the wind has come. That all. Don't jinx it. Oh. Guys, Windy Island, you already know. And look at all the stores, Louis Vuitton. Sorry, our car is our car is here. <laughs> Stop twirling. Stop twirling. I told them I have ten. <laughs> I told them we have ten, ten minutes. What's the reason? Days are tight. Don't even. The table. Yeah, the table, yeah. the table is at ten p.m. Guys, and it's it's, it's nine thirty. It's what, five minutes to get ready because I'm half hour joke. I can't do this. <laughs> I don't want to do this. I'm not subscribing to this. <laughs> I'm free something. I pass out. Do you have to re-lock? Nah, nah, every four seconds. Like, I'm at two doctors. I'm like, I'm on duty. We're at Prince of Bonte. The party isn't started yet, guys, as you can tell. We are the boss. Yeah. <laughs> the reason why you can hear my voice is because we're 
early to the party because we need to eat fast. a.m. We had Giros and it's photo shoot time. <laughs> this, was my, <laughs> this was my outfit for the night, guys. Uh, come through your outfit, where? This is my outfit for the night, guys. <laughs> Sorry for not signing. So, this is Zara. <laughs> These are Louis Vuitton and this is Saint Laurent. Nice. This is, I don't remember, I don't remember, and I don't remember. <laughs> this is Opali, Balenciaga, and Louis Vuitton. I actually don't remember Zara. <laughs> <laughs> And it's 6 a.m. We're gonna go sleep now after a million vodka red balls. And no, club, club, <laughs> club, another club, another club, club. <laughs> another club, cab, neff, food. Guys, no it's food. very concentrated. No breakfast. It's like, da, 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 you're on Not a mission. Not gonna lie, how much do those naps in the cab bang? Oh, yeah, <laughs> so much. They're like a reward. And, and <laughs> honestly, like they are so necessary. If you don't nap in the cab, you're not doing the cab. No, yeah. you might as well just don't go. <laughs> Might as well stay home. Anyway, we'll see you guys when we wake up. Right, even more people today. You know what's funny? Actually, to, for the fact that it's kind of the same time we came yesterday, like yeah. 10 minutes later. Leaving? Yeah, I know. Honestly. Just have your coffee, so if you want to eventually get your food. Oh. Guys, I'm struggling to sleep because where I had a nap yesterday after Prince of Porte, um, it was like three, hour, three hours, right? And then I've had Red Bull. It's basically like what I would do on a night shift is like have small naps and like energize myself with energy drinks. So I can't get back to sleep, it's hard. I'm hoping to lounge by the pool later and have a nap. Don't you think? Yeah. I feel like today I wouldn't even be upset if we like just went to the beach of our hotel. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Because I'm thinking if we got Namor start again. What did you say? I'm gonna die. And what gonna... if we go Namos again? Yeah, I'm gonna be just pass out. You can just like carry me out. To the straight to the plane, you know, in like a wheelchair or something. Honestly. <laughs> Nat's flying flying out, she's leaving today, so and my feet, I'm telling you. My oh, feet, my are, feet killing are killing me, me as well. It's ridiculous. Although you match the bunny behind you. Oh. Snow bunny. <laughs> Persian bunny. The Ukrainian bunny. Guys, Nat's leaving. Don't make me cry. You're gonna make me cry. No stop! <laughs> Oh, it's been so fun. We came. We we'll, we're seeing. <laughs> Natalie saw. <laughs> to be fair, we conquered quite a lot. To be fair, I'm, I'm pretty proud of myself, <laughs> and my body, and my outfit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm wrong>. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <laughs> yeah, dark pink. We found her a princess tiara. What do you guys think? Should she get it? Should she not? I mean, by the time you see this, she would have already decided, but I think it's so cute. It's very cute. <laughs> I love it. I love shopping. Oh, <laughs> 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 Yeah, it's very adorable. Um, I got this dress in Mexico. Anyone who's watched the Mexico vlog in the hotel shop there, and I just feel like it's such a vibe. Um, but it was really unique there, and here it seems to be like, what all the like girls who are hosting at the front of Bonbonnier Club are wearing, yeah, <laughs> but like in a different wraparound. Um, but yeah, it's a bit see-through, but it obviously it's a beach dress, so yeah. Uh, Navia looks like that moment in Friends where Phoebe gets stuck within the jewelry store when Chandler's trying to pick the ring and when she's wearing all the jewelry at once. It is me, I'm back to try another shoe. So this is what I've just picked up, guys. This necklace, it's an evil eye necklace. And this um, bracelet, it's like got protective energy. I'll show you guys the card, but I really like it. I just love a little couple pieces from everywhere I go. Just to pick it up, Sina taught me to do that. But yeah. Outfit of the day. 
Um, I have this headband, bikini top is from Louis Vuitton. This Ra Ra skirt is from Adika, and the matching sandals to like the headband. And it's a cute vibe, and then I've got my beach bag there. So Nabia left for London today, which I was so sad about. Um, but I have some friends who are landing from Dubai tomorrow, and we're like staying. I'm staying on for another four days with her, which I'm so excited. And a few of her friends from Dubai, and you guys would have probably seen her in my San Tropez vlog. Um, so I'm really excited for that. Today I'm going to Namos with my friend Galia, who is happens to be staying at the resort next door. Um, and we just saw that we're in Mykonos at the same time together. She's here with her sister, so I'm really excited. We're gonna hang out for the day, maybe do some shopping and just enjoy the weather. And yeah, I love the view of this room, by the way. Just so picturesque. Um, yeah, I feel like the lack of sleep has been difficult this trip, I'm not gonna lie, because I came from a set of seven no, six nights, 72 hours of intense a &E work. Um, it was really hard for me. It was really honestly quite hard because I like had to adjust myself to less sleep anyway. And then when I've come here, I think my brain has just not learned to let, let myself sleep completely and relax. So I'm hoping that tonight when I sleep until tomorrow, I have a really long sleep. But today again, I only managed to get three hours sleep. I don't know what's happening. Nabia and Nasty, they had the same problem and hopefully it will sort itself out and it'll sink out because it's not like I don't have the time to sleep. I'm not like, wait, let me wake up and rush somewhere. It's more like I just, my brain and my body can't relax. I've cut out the Red Bull and the caffeine, so hopefully that will help. Um, but we'll see, I'll keep you guys updated on it. Other than that, Mykonos is wonderful. Um, I went to a restaurant called Interni last night, which was so fun. I think I got some content on my phone for you, and hopefully I can add that in. <laughs> God, this light is awful. It's kind of fixing. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to it. There was loads of signs on the road. I'll just follow them. This is a fucking big car. <laughs> we are at it beach. It's very pretty. Um, Apparently they have parties here on Wednesdays and Saturdays, so it's just a chill day. But we're going to Alamagu tonight anyway. It's my last night, but I've got pasta because that's literally all I've consumed this holiday. Hannah is chewing into a pizza, as is everyone else. Enjoy. Really nice and she's been made. <laughs> <laughs> this is where we're going. Oh, 
So guys, I've packed up all my stuff and I've lost my voice. I'm ready to leave Mykonos. I'm just about to order an Uber, but let me set you guys down. Um, sorry if this vlog was a bit chaotic and all over the place, but to be honest, um, the whole trip was very chaotic and all over the place, as Mykonos always is. But I thought before finishing off this vlog, I would give you guys my recommendations of where to go and just random tips and tricks for Mykonos if you guys have never been. Uh, I've been before and the audio doesn't work on my last um, YouTube video of Mykonos the last time I came, which is very annoying. Um, but hopefully this one will work and you guys will get to see. So let me walk you through like some places I think you should go for sure. So Namor's restaurant on a Friday is incredible. I would say on a Saturday you should go to Principote. You could go to Principote on any day, um, but I love it. Um, so for Namor's on the Friday, the music starts at five. So try and get there for four and like have your dinner, have your lunch reservation in the restaurant have your food and then by five the music will start and you get up and dance on tables. Um, on the Saturday for Principote, Principote now starts getting very lively and crazy by about um, six o'clock so I would say get there for five and eat your food and then the party will start. I think we left at, to be honest we overstayed because we stayed till nine but like it's from five till eight is when it's like the crazy wild fun party. I would say go to Kabutagu any day for sunset, it's incredible. Every time I've been to Kabutagu, I've been to Principote before, I don't know why, I, I wonder if it's because it's close to each other, because I don't plan on um, going to Kabutagu, but it's beautiful at sunset and um, it's just a vibe, they have shisha there, they have drinks, I've never eaten food there, I've just had drinks and stuff, so um, that is the best. And then on Sunday is Scorpio Sunday, if you are a Soho House member you can walk in, Otherwise, you have to make a reservation and you have to make it way far in advance. We got there for seven, but everyone was rocking up at about nine. Um, Scorpius is a very deep house, and I would say a lot of the people who are there are on another planet. Um, so if that is the vibe that you like, I personally, I don't like that vibe. I like um, R&B and house, um, so that's why I would definitely... Um, go to more that type of place like um, Namos and Principote. Um, but yeah, Scorpios is one of those places that you have to go to and the music is good, I would say, but I can't hack more than like an hour of beatless music. It just drives me insane. <laughs> um, sorry, I mean lyricless music, it just drives me insane. Um, and then on Mondays is Alamagu and it is so fun. Get there for 9 p.m. for dinner and then you can use your dinner table to just carry on partying and stuff there. Um, and where else is good? Um, Santana, I didn't really like. Um, it's just, it's nice, it's just, I don't know. I did not like it, I'm just not in a rush to go back. Um, uh, we went to a place called Kalua, which is new this year, um, and that was really fun. Again, I think we got there for about four o'clock or five o'clock, that was a good time. The party started then, they had a performer and stuff, and that was on the beach, that was more chill. Um, and it was really fun and we went to school plus after that we went on a Sunday um, So that one was good as well um, As for nightclubs, I absolutely love Bonboni Bonbonniere. It's my favorite nightclub in the world Everyone's like why it's so small and stuff, but it's outdoors. The music is good. The people are nice I really like the staff there even so I really really recommend it Restaurants, I love Interni. Um, we went to a place now that you guys saw called Spila. That's another beach club. The party starts at about five. Um, that's really good if you're doing a boat day to get your um, boat to drop you in because it's so nice. You could do the same with Namos even. Um, you don't, by the way, when I say you can get a boat to drop you in, like obviously you don't have to be on a boat and stuff. Like you, you can just walk into the restaurant normally as well. But if you are planning on doing a boat day when you come to Mykonos, then yeah, I think Spelia is a beautiful one. It's basically the whole restaurant and stuff is built in a cave and it's part of a hotel. Um, and it's beautiful, party starts at five, everyone was just coming in from their boats. A man fell off um, from the tender onto when he was jumping in and I went and helped him out and then he came and brought me a flower after, which I thought was so sweet. 
um, but yeah, that one's incredible. Um, where else am I working at? Restaurants, I would say Sea Satin. Leo is new, I didn't get a chance to go, but everyone tells me it's incredible, so check it out. Um, Interni, I love Interni, it's so fun, and the food is good, and the vibes are good, and the drinks are good. Um, the people there are really fun. Um, I feel like, to be honest, I think I've given you guys a full itinerary. Um, as for pricing, I would say Mykonos is expensive. There's a taxi app called iMove, which is really good. It's like Uber, but you just pay the driver rather than it being linked to your card. And it's really easy, really quick and really reliable. So I would recommend downloading iMove when you get to the island. Um, what else can I recommend? Oh, outfit wise, I'm I really into like prints and stuff right now, um, but to be honest, anything really goes. People are really comfortable. You can even be to some extent in your beachwear going from one place to another, apart from the restaurant. Don't go into town in your beachwear, but like all the beach clubs and stuff, you could be in the restaurant bit and wearing your beachwear, which is what I did, um, and you get away with it. Wear whatever you like. I think when you're here, you can get away with whatever vibe you fancy. Um, it's like chill, easy going. Um, but yeah, it is pricey. Um, taxis are, I would say, a big bulk of where your money goes. Not as expensive as Ibiza. I think Ibiza was ridiculous for taxis, but yeah, it's um, very expensive. Um, restaurants and stuff, I think if you're, let's say, looking to have one like average priced meal um, with like a couple of drinks or something, you're looking at like 152 euros per person minimum like that is like if you've chosen like the most like simple stuff I would say so it is very very pricey bear that in mind um, but it's worth it in my opinion if you want to save up for a very fun party holiday the other thing is length of stay I think I've been here for like nine or ten days now I think that's too long um, as you can tell I mean I like to have a good time I, I was on 72 hours of night shift before this so in one week so I think I just wanted a break but partying all the time does get tiring like drinking and whatever so I would say a good length of stay would be three nights and four days I think you could smash it out do like a Thursday to a Sunday or Thursday to and then leave Monday morning I think that would be perfect make sure you get the morning flight on the Thursday so you don't miss anything and that's beautiful Anyway, that is my long spiel over the recommendations, but I feel like I get so many questions at the bottom in, in the comments that I always think, oh my God, I should have just sat down and dressed this. So that's what I've done now. Um, but I'm gonna book my taxi and get out of here. I'm gonna miss it a lot. And I can't wait to come back next summer. It's gonna be amazing. Okay, love you guys so much. Don't forget to check out my socials. They're always linked down below in the description. My Instagram is Persian Bunny. My TikTok is Persian underscore bunny and I'll see you next time. Bye!